Hey everybody, this is Chance. I'm driving down the road, so I apologize for weird angles and things of the such. <laughs> Alright, so I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube recently about how people decided to transition, what caused them to, and identity versus dysphoria. Um, and I just wanted to give my input on it. So, a really quick reason why I decided to transition is if I didn't, I would be the most miserable, unhappy person in my life. There have been nights when I had, you know, thought of suicide. If I would have actually partaken in that, I'm not so sure. I may have just lived my life in misery. Um, but I knew that I was uncomfortable with my body. And I still am. Ever since I was a kid, I felt like I had a penis. I got to middle school, I realized that I, I mean, I, I, I've always known that physically I didn't have what my brain was telling me that I had, but middle school, around the time of puberty, is when things started hitting me, when things got legit, and I, I realized that something was wrong, and I, I couldn't really place my finger on it. But when, when I was, for all of my life, in my head, my vision of me had, had, had a penis um, with, 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 and, 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 no, and, and no breasts. But it's mostly that, that lower area that I've had issues with. And uh, so when I finally learned what transgender actually meant, you know, my previous uh, um, learnings, I guess, of, of the word was based off of Jerry Springer. And I felt like transgender individuals were uh, terrible, disgusting, weak-minded even. You know, if... Why, why can't they just suffer through it? I'm suffering through it, kind of deal. And then uh, around college... I finally understood the term. I started researching and I was like, oh, you're not weak. You're not gross. You're not terrible for doing this. You're being you. And then so after I realized that, I, I told friends of mine that I wanted to go by male pronouns and that I you know, wanted a male name, and that's where Chance kind of derived from. Uh, so, I tried, you know, I tried it for several months, and I, you know, I realized that my life was so much better like that. Uh, and I, I couldn't see myself going back at all. And so maybe like a year, year and a half, two years passed, and I finally got on testosterone. Um, about two years, just about two years. Got on T, um, <laughs> one and a half months now, and I absolutely am grateful that I I I looked into this, I found out, and I got people to help me, I guess, along the way, and to understand that I have such amazing people in my life. Um, so that's how I knew that I needed to transition. When I felt more alive, more comfortable, more myself than I had, than I have ever felt, at least ever since preschool. Because in preschool, I was, I was, I, <laughs> There, there wasn't a difference between um, male and female in preschool with me. Well, there was. I didn't want to hang out with the girls. I knew that much. But, but when it, it was that exclusion that happened is when life started going downhill, I feel like, with me. Uh, so my advice is those for those who are um, wanting to transition, you know, try it out. 
is especially and this goes into the identity versus dysphoria thing you can identify with whatever you like I mean if I wanted to be a, a camel a a pink camel that was a rainbow power ranger or something I don't know <laughs> Um, if, if I wanted to identify like that, I would identify with that. And if people said, what the hell? I'd be like, F you, you know, um, identify with however you like, but realize that with <laughs> great power comes great responsibility with, um, with your identity. That's how people see you as, and in you have potential of, of ruining that identity if if not taken seriously. Now if if you if you if you think that you could possibly, you know, be transgender or, you know, transsexual I guess would be the correct term, and wanting to, you know, transition to the appropriate uh, sex to match your gender, um if you know it's try it out and if and if it doesn't feel right then back out of it it's perfectly okay to to back out of it but you know if you if you if you i feel if you go on and you get on tea and then you get on tea and you don't like the changes and you're realizing that maybe your views were maybe a little bit um romanticized a little bit um by YouTube or, you know, whatever, and you're on T, you've kind of um, set yourself up for people doubting you, you know, um, and also ruining the power behind uh, that identity, I feel like. Um, if you If you don't have dysphoria, which, you know, um, if I, I, because, because I come from a, a dysphoric standpoint, I, I have a hard time just basing off, uh, or wanting to transition based off of, um, like what you wear and the activities you do. Cause like, if I didn't have dysphoria, I most likely would not be transitioning whatsoever. I, I, I'd be comfortable. There'd be no point in, in progressing my body and, in how I'm doing it, you know, if I was fine having what I had down below, if I was fine having my upper area, then I wouldn't be transitioning, but I'm not, I'm not comfortable like that, I'm not comfortable with it, so, and, you know, in, in, enlighten me, by the way, if, if you're comfortable with it, and, but you still identify as male and you want to transition, uh, please, please feel free to explain because I'm, you know, I'm always, I'm always wanting to understand other people. But you know, from my standpoint and my experience, I don't, I don't see how people can decide to transition without having dysphoria. Again, always try it out. Test, test the waters first before, you know, making the big step of going on hormones or getting surgery because it is a big step. You know, things change and things, you know, are pretty much permanent for the most part. So I think that's all I have to say. I didn't really mean to go on a long giant rant. <laughs> I hope I didn't rant. I feel like I might, may have, but, um, yeah, I just, I, I, I just wanted to share my story, my experience and hopefully, um, hopefully I have an opinion worthwhile. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Anyways, it's been going on long enough. Uh, hope I made sense. Peace out, guys.